<laughs> Anyways, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing another art challenge. So there's this thing that the kids are using nowadays to cheat on their homework and it's called chat gupt. Today we're going to try to ask chat gupt to help us cheat on our drawings. <laughs> Oh boy, why do I do this? Now, for those of you who might be living under a rock, ChatGPT is basically an AI that you talk to when it talks back to you. First, I wanna establish a good connection. So good morning to you. <laughs> good morning, I hope you're having a great day so far. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I need a character to draw. Oh, okay. Could you provide me with some specific details or preferences? For example, would you like the character to be human, an animal, or a fantasy creature? Ooh, I don't know. Maybe let's do a half human, okay? We can try this. Enter. Uh, Seraphina Moonshadow. <laughs> What kind of name is that? Graceful and mysterious character with a delicate balance of human and elven feature. Oh, she's an elf, okay. Long flowing silver hair. Okay, you got my attention there. You got my attention. Adorned with intricate braids and small ethereal flowers. Her eyes are a vibrant shade of emerald green. Look at this, very detailed. And they sparkle with wisdom and curiosity. All right, okay, no need to get that deep. She possesses the pointed ears, but they're slightly shorter. Ah, okay, because she's a half elf. She has a deep connection to nature and the arcane and using her magical abilities, she can heal and protect others. I actually really like that. I think we should draw this character. Okay, we're gonna give that a shot. Now, what I wanna do is, can you, can you come up with Seraphina Moonshadow's arch nemesis in this world for me to draw as well? <laughs> let's see what you, oh, actually, let's make it a male. Make him a male. Valerian Darkbane, Jesus, that is edgy. Half human, half demon. Oh my goodness. Valerian stands tall and lean with jet black hair that falls in wild, undead tamed locks around his face. His skin bears subtle, intricate markings that glow. Ooh. Mm. Dark flowing robes. Okay, that's pretty That's pretty generic. Adornments of bone and dark gemstones accentuate his attire. Okay, so that sounds kind of generic, but we'll, we'll roll with it. What color is Valerian's skin? Pale grayish tone. Okay, All right, let's see what we can do here. So the first character that ChatGPT gave us is Seraphina Moonshadow. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have to come up with a sketch. She has long hair, uh, human elven features. So she's got pointed ears. One hour later. All right, so using editing, we've removed my pain and suffering from the past 15 minutes. And here is a beautiful sketch of Seraphina or Sarah. She's got silver hair that reaches down to her waist and it's adorned with intricate braids and small small flowers. That's kind of what I've got going on here. She's got some braids. She's got some flowers. It's all very rough, but hopefully we can kind of polish it up a little bit as we go into rendering. She wears ornate and flowing robes. We're going to have to do a little bit more detail on that, but obviously, you know, I, I know my audience. <laughs> now we're just going to use our lasso tool and select the silhouette of our character. Then I'm going to fill it in with a base color. All right, so the reason that I'm doing this, that I'm filling it with one base color is because when you take this layer and you add an alpha lock to it, now you cannot paint outside of this layer. So this makes drawing on our character with different colors very, very easy. She's got bright flowing silver hair, so we're gonna have to apply that color right here. And you can see how it's not going outside of the lines. This makes my life so much easier. All right, great, there's the color for the hair. Now, the clothing on her body are gonna be a pastel kind of color. Maybe let's go for blue. So this kind of pastel blue here. And then I wanna show you guys a little trick. I'm full of tricks. So you see, we're gonna select this layer, right? And then we're gonna go into here, hue, saturation, and brightness. If you're not entirely sure what color you want your character to be, just use this tool right Right here and shift the hue around and see what looks best. It, woo. All right, so we can't do this because then she looks naked and I'm gonna get demonetized. Green is a really good look too. I don't know. I think we're gonna stick with blue. Look, if you like green a lot, I'm sorry. I've just offended you and all your ancestors. Start a new layer, make a clipping mask once again, set this to multiply and it's time for shadows. And remember while you're drawing, it's always good to flip your canvas around every once in a while just to see things from a new perspective, okay? Sometimes you go brain numb to the mistakes that you're making. So you can see I'm coming in here and adding a little bit more variation into the color on the skin here. I'm gonna do the same for the tip of the ears. She's got pointed ears because she's half elf. And here it says that her eyes are actually a vibrant shade of green. So we're gonna have to add some green irises in here. Now 
here I'm selecting an even brighter green color and we're going to add a highlight onto the opposite side of where the light is coming from. So if the light is coming from this direction, then the highlight will be on this side. If the light is coming from this direction, then the highlight will be on this side. Ooh, shiny. All right, so she's got long silver hair adorned with intricate braids and small ethereal flowers. So I wanna kind of work on that next. Now braids can be tough to draw if you're trying to detail out every single one of them. So I wanna just go with a bit more of an impressionistic approach. I'm not gonna to try to capture every little detail. I feel like we can make the flowers in her hair a bluish color. So kind of matching her outfit like that. And I'm thinking maybe I can use some orange here for the flowers as well. Because as you guys know, blue and orange are complementary colors. And if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that I love my blue and orange color schemes. Think of like a sunset, like golden hour lighting, the most beautiful blue and orange you've ever seen. So here it says that her robes are very ornate. Maybe we can add the same silver color that you see for her hair. All of this doesn't really make much sense, right? I'm just putting down a bunch of random marks, it seems, and it kind of gives the illusion of detail. And this is honestly my favorite way to draw and paint because I, I just, I hate getting fixated and caught up on small detail. I just hate overthinking things that don't matter that much. And I unfortunately have a tendency to do this in my art and sometimes in daily life too. And here it says that her staff is carved intricately with symbols of nature and magic. Why is everything so intricate with ChatGPT? Why, why can't it be minimal? This is more work for me. Now, this might look like a whole bunch of nonsense right now, but see, as soon as we zoom out, it looks like, oh, there's so much stuff going on here, but there, there really isn't. I'm just scribbling. <laughs> Staff's gotta be intricate. Maybe we can give her a gemstone in here, the color of her eyes, just to imply that it is magical. Okay, so let me show you guys what I've just done. So usually um, at the end of one of these drawings, I like to add a lot of line art. Now that's because we're doing a pretty quick sketch and we're just trying to figure out the look of our character. So we're not going into too much detail in terms of the rendering, which means adding in a lot of line art like this is gonna really sharpen up some of the edges, the silhouette, and make the character a little bit more readable. You can see it's still very rough, but it does bring the character into a higher level of definition. Now I'm gonna take my time and add some more final touches and then I'll show you guys a more rendered version of our character Sarah. All right guys, so there's the first character that ChatGPT gave us. Her name is Sarah and she looks fan. Fantastic. I ended up giving her some like floral tattoos just to kind of drive home this oneness with nature that she seems to have. She's got the wooden staff, the green eyes and the flowers in her hair that kind of reminds me of the forest. But she also has this almost ocean wave like pattern on her robes. And that kind of reminds me of the ocean. So she's really got everything here. She's extremely one with nature. Now moving on, we're going to try a villain character. Okay, his name is Valerian Dark. Dark Bane. Oh, that's, he's edgy. He represents the side of dark magic. He's half human, half demon, and he's a sorcerer. One hour later. And once again, through the magic of editing, we've removed my pain and suffer, and here's the sketch of Valerian. So the prompt here basically says that he represents the dark side of magic. He's half human, half demon, hence why I gave him the horns with jet black, untamed, wild locks hanging around his face. And his eyes burn with an intense red crimson glow. You're going to notice this wild kind of silhouette that I'm doing here. That's because in his character description, it says that his clothing almost seems as though it's alive. So I'm gonna take this pale gray color here, which is the color of his skin. And, ooh, that looks nice. Alpha lock this layer. His clothing is dark and it's shadowy and it moves on its own accord. So here we're gonna just color in the clothing that he's wearing. This is wild. This is like the complete opposite vibe of our last character, Sarah. All right, so now we're gonna make a clipping mask and I'm gonna add some very, very simple shadows here.
flipping this canvas around, his eyes are going to be a dark crimson red. And they're actually going to be glowing. So, uh, ooh, menacing. Scary. I'm going to color in his little beard right here, just like that. Ooh, menacing. All right, that looks beautiful. So probably the coolest thing about this guy is that he has intricate markings. ChatGPT loves the word intricate, but the intricate markings that glow with a sinister aura. This is going to be cool. I would not want this guy as my enemy. He's supposed to be the nemesis of Sarah, the elf. Honestly, right now with the way he looks, I'm not sure if I'm liking Sarah's chances against him. Jesus Christ, Sarah's gonna get whooped. And he's wearing a lot of bones on him here, it says. So he's, my goodness, he is so edgy. This one looks like the skull of my enemy. <laughs> These are the skulls of his enemies. He's gonna be like the most OP dude ever. And then the hero is gonna get whooped by him. And then she's gonna have to come back and, and figure out a way to defeat him. I think that's how the storyline's gonna go. He's, he's too powerful. Look at him. I'm gonna give him a bone on his head too. Some kind of little magical creature here that got murdered by him. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our gloaming brush here in Procreate and we're gonna just add in more details, refine the silhouette a little bit. All right, guys, there he is. There's Valerian Darkbane. He sure is dark. Uh oh. Ugh. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed watching this process. Let me know which character you guys like better. For me, I think Sarah is my favorite. <laughs> Valerian, he's nice, but he's he's a little bit too edgy for me. But <laughs> check out my Patreon if you want to see monthly tutorials. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Honestly, if you guys are stuck, you don't know what to draw next, and you need some help, this is not such a bad way to get some inspiration. If you literally just need someone to tell you what to do, I think this is a pretty good way to do it. So if you like this video, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more content just like this, and I'll see you on the next one. I've been sitting for two hours. Oh, God, my, oh, I'm asleep. It's asleep. My leg's asleep. You know, that was pretty fun. I can't do this much longer, guys. I can't do this. Oh my God, my back. Oh. Ever since I hit 25, nothing's been the same. They say your 20s is the best time of your life. If this is the best time of my life, then <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I love doing this. I love you guys. I, I, I'm happy. <laughs>